Okay, so now that we have that, at least uh, the window working, the GUI interface working, let's go ahead and try to do the code for adding that student. It took a little longer than what I thought just to do this window, but uh, I hope that was well explained. Uh, anyway, uh, we also probably want to do another thing else that I forgot here. Whenever we put the information here, we want to put a button that will do the adding and another button that will do cancel maybe if I don't want to add. So I'm just go ahead and do that real quick here. So button, I'm come here and put um, add, that's going to be the name, add, add student, the content for the button. And well, we probably want to do this. And I want another one for cancel. So let me control C, control V, it's up there. The reason I'm doing control C and control V instead of just going ahead and creating another button from the, the toolbox is just because I want to I want to have the same size if I can. So he's going to be cancel. There we go. So I have those two buttons. Now, let's see what I have here. If we come here, let me just put this a little bigger. As you see, the code was all generated for me, right? Just by dragging uh, those those tool from the toolbox and putting on the the interface, it was all created for me, and that's great. Maybe I want to change a couple things here, and the reason I want to change is just because it's gonna make it easier for me to do the code here when I go to the CS in the Add Student. For example, label one, this guy here, who is this guy? This one I probably don't don't have to change. You don't have to, you can, but you don't have to, because this is just to let the, the, the user know that here in this box here, you want to add, you want to put a name. But here on this one, you probably want to change. So instead of having text box one, let's put a more descriptive. So I'm just going to put here first, first name. That's going to be the name for that text box. Now for this guy here, I don't want a text box too. I want a last, uh, last name. Uh, going down a little bit more here for this radio button this one for the mail right so I probably want to put here mail and you can understand better why I'm doing this in a little bit just bear with me mail and for this one I want to put a female so radio button two female now I probably want to change here for add student. I don't want that to be button one. I want that to be add student. So add student. And for the cancel, I want to put cancel. There you go. That should be good. Since I made some changes, let me run the program again. Make sure that everything is working the way I want. I have an error. Uh, he's telling me that add student member names cannot be the same as their enclosing type so let me see what he's talking about so line 17 uh, 17 it's okay he's uh, not sure what he's complaining about <laughs> I don't know if he's complaining about this. Let me just make sure. Let me see if that's what it is. I guess it was. Um, okay, this is not working. It is not working yet. That's okay. We're going to make it work in a little bit. Uh, I probably don't want to add this to then. Let me give a better name here then. Just gonna put add since I know I'm gonna be talking about the student, so just gonna be add, right? He was complaining that this name here was the same as I had in uh, where is that again? Come on, here, saying that I can't have the same name, and that's okay. So now let's let's do what we gotta do, right? Um, see if I let me close this. If I double click here. We're going to see that in the CS, it's going to create the method there for me. I don't want to do anything with that. In fact, I don't even want to click that. But since I clicked, I'm not going to mess up with. You can leave it there. If if you erase from here right now, like for example, let me erase it. So you see. And try to run. I'm going to have an error. I'm going to show why I have this error. Saying 
Uh, no extension method, first name, text, change, blah, blah, blah. What is that? Pretty much saying is that, okay, you're supposed to have a method there just because I double click it. Because right here, right here, when I double click it, it created this for me in the WPF. So you got two options. If you raise that, you're going to have to raise here as well. So let's do that. I wouldn't erase, but now I will. Uh, and now let's run and see. Or you just put the method back there. That won't be a problem. So here it is. You won't have any errors anymore. Okay. So let's close that. Let's close the application. And let's come back here. Um, so I probably want to do things with the add student and with the cancel. The cancel is pretty easy. Let's see how we're going to do it. Like I double click it there. Uh, and there's a method called dialog res uh, dialog result if I'm not wrong dialog result equals to false that means that whenever I run the program and if I click the cancel button it's gonna close that window here close the window that was pretty easy huh okay now um, let's go for the other part it's a bigger part so go back here I want to come here to add student click here to reload okay I'm coming to add, add student double click it and start having the fun so now I know that this is the method that I want to deal with because it's saying add here and that's the name I gave over there remember when I when I did the button when I named the button I gave the name add here it is that's the name so let's go back there uh, let's start doing um, probably the first thing I want to check is if I mean how I'm gonna add a student if I don't have a name in there or if I don't have a gender or, or GPA I mean the GPA you could actually do some other stuff like do an aggregation and, and try to calculate the GPA or, or do some code here in this case we're not gonna do that but so if, but for for example for the for the database, they were all not nullable, so we they have to put something over there, otherwise we're gonna have problem in the database. So let's make sure they do that. So the first thing is let's do some checks. So if um, the name we gave for that first text box was first name, as you start as you start uh, typing, you're gonna see that it's gonna show there. Um, so if first name, and that was one of the reasons I want to put the name, like I said before, a more descriptive name. So when it comes here to coding, it's going to be easy for me to identify what I want to do. So now I got the first name. I wanted that to be a text. So if I come here and put text. Uh, oh, I have a comma here. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I want that to be a text. So I'm kind of like, it's kind of like just a, a say. Um, um, I forgot the word. And dot trim. parsing I'm parsing it to text so and why am I using trim trim is just like making sure that I don't have spaces because if I put something with the spaces inside of the database and I try to query something with spaces when I query it, I mean I, I don't know about the spaces so I'm putting this the trim there make sure that space is not there so if that equals to nothing then I probably want to do a let me hear message box. Um, um, dot show, and that's just gonna tell. Hey, um, I put here missing, uh, missing first name. It's just gonna pop up a message box saying, "Hey, you missing first name? You gotta put that." Okay. Um, I have a name. Oh, okay, this is supposed to be equal. So there you go. So let's actually run our application and see if that is doing what we want it to do. So when I come here, add student, if I do add student without anything in here, it's going to say, oh, missing first name. And I should probably uh, separate that. Oh, man, time goes by fast. Um, let me just fix that here. So what I want you to do then since the time is running like crazy it's just do the same for last name in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the, the, with the radio buttons okay thanks again guys bye